Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. Hi you guys, welcome back to our kitchen. We are making something so delicious today. We're making something with one pot again. One pot! <laughs> one pot. Josh loves the one pot. I do, and it seems like everyone else does too. I know, well, because they're really good. So a lot of you guys have been making the one pot recipes. The orakete, which has been pretty popular, the lemon chicken, the jambalaya, which mm -hmm. was delicious. Delicious. Yes, and uh, even one of uh, your, your friends has been making. Oh yeah, my BFF, Jenna Fisher. <laughs> Her and her husband have been making our one pots, which we get so excited to see. Totally, I'm impressed. Yes. Too. I mean, they've turned out great, and um, I'm just excited to share another one with you guys. Yeah, I think you guys are really gonna like this one. This recipe was a little request from me. Actually, so was the jambalaya, because my sister Janet makes really good jambalaya. Pretty much everything I make is a request for Anne. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just whatever craving she's having. No, it's not. Not pregnant, but well, just she has cravings. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, you guys, because you're enjoying them. So Josh was like, I bet we could make a really good one pot Thai dish. Yep, and we did, and we did. <laughs> so today we're making one pot Thai pasta, and um, I added chicken to this one, but if you leave out the chicken, it's a vegetarian one pot Thai pasta. That's right, so guys, we got, we got. if you like your chicken and your meat, this is a good one, and if you don't chicken. want it, we got you covered, because then you could just make it with veggies. <laughs> How do we get started? Okay, here's what you'll need to make the one pot Thai pasta. 14 ounces linguine or spaghetti pasta. One rotisserie chicken shredded. Three tablespoons olive oil. One medium shallot chopped. Two to three zucchini peeled into ribbons. Four to five carrots peeled into ribbons. Three cloves garlic minced. Two tablespoons brown sugar. Three fourths cup soy sauce. Two tablespoons sriracha hot sauce. Two teaspoons ginger minced. One fourth cup fresh lime juice. One half teaspoon white pepper. Two cups bean sprouts. Three green onions chopped. One fourth cup peanuts crushed. Okay, so the first thing we need to do with the one pot pasta is cook the pasta. Make the pasta. Yeah, so I already cooked the pasta in the one pot. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we might not have enough uh, to make our Thai pasta if you keep eating everything. Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, so we made the pasta and we strained it and Josh put a little bit of olive oil in it so it's not all sticky. Yep, so it doesn't stick together while we're making the rest of the, the dish. All right, so while your pasta is done and warm, let's get to the sauce. Yep, so this is how you make the sauce. Put the soy sauce in, the brown sugar, the sriracha sauce, it's pretty hot, okay? So if you don't like spicy things, then you can lower it to like a tablespoon or leave it out altogether. Then we'll add the ginger, the lime juice, and lastly, the white pepper. Now you can use black pepper too if you don't have white pepper or can't find it, but white pepper does have a distinctive flavor that, right. that makes it uh, really good. So we're gonna add the pepper, and then we'll mix this together with the whisk. Mix it together. Yep. It, it smells good already. Yeah, already. Like I already wanna dip something in it. <laughs> Grab a carrot. Good? Mm. All right, good. The sauce is ready, so we're just gonna set this to the side. So the next step is we're going to saute the shallot and the garlic in the olive oil. So I'm going to turn this stove onto medium heat, add the olive oil. We're gonna let this heat up over medium heat, and once this is heated, we'll add the shallots and the garlic. So we're gonna saute this over medium heat for about one to two minutes, until the, the garlic is really fragrant. We want fragrant garlic, That's people. Right. I can I can stir. Need me to stir? Yeah, come over here. All right. So the great thing about this Thai pasta is that it comes together really quick. So once you gather all the ingredients and do all the prep work, um, the, the meal actually cooks really quick. And it's all in one pot. One so. pot! One pot! All right, that's getting hot. All right, that looks great. Next we're gonna add the veggies. We're gonna add the carrots. I'll put all these carrots in the pot and the zucchini. I love zucchini. Now it looks like a lot, but these will cook down quite a bit. They do, they just kind of shrink. <laughs> they kind of shrivel. No judgment. No, no, of course. The pool might have been cold, you know? You never know. Inappropriate <laughs> kitchen humor. We will just saute these veggies for about four to five minutes until they, they, they start to look soft. So these veggies are nice and soft. So now we're gonna lower the heat and it's time to add the pasta. It's time to add the pasta. Are we still eating the peanuts? They're salty peanuts, they're so good. <laughs> they are, but we need them for the they're, recipe. They're right in front of me, <laughs> uh, I'm hungry. So we're gonna add the pasta to the pot. Then we'll also add the shredded chicken. Next we're gonna add the sauce. Okay. All over the top, this delicious sauce. Now you just wanna stir this up. 
really coat all the pasta and the chicken and the veggies with the sauce. See how easy this was? Easy. Super easy. It just takes a little bit of time to prep everything, but mm -hmm. once you once you get that done, it's, it comes together quick. You can probably buy carrots and zucchini pre-cut too. <laughs> you if can. you're feeling super lazy. You can, but cutting them in ribbons is pretty easy. All right. So it doesn't take that much time. Alright, I'm just saying. But you can, you definitely can. If you want can. some real shortcuts. <laughs> Angela would know about those for sure. Now we have that all incorporated. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add the bean sprouts. Bean all right? sprouts! These don't take a lot of time to cook, so we're just gonna add these to the pot. And cook them over low heat for about a minute. And the pasta will help kind of soften up the bean sprouts. What's next, babe? All right, the last thing is we're gonna to top it with peanuts and some green onions, and that's it. You're ready to serve. Here we go. We're gonna add the peanuts and the green onions, and then we just mix this all together, and our one pot Thai pasta is done. All right, I'm gonna get us some bowls. All right. All right, we're done. Look at that. Jenna. I think you're really gonna like this one. You are one. gonna like this one. It is so, so good. And you guys can make this at home. I know you can, I have faith in you. Yes, make it, tag us in it. Yeah, we love it when you tag us we in it. We love it. Yep. Jenna, make it, <laughs> tag, <laughs> you tag us. us too. <laughs> um, all right, you guys have a great day, thanks. All right, bye guys. Bye. And it makes, what am I doing? I just I bumped into doing. the, I like went, I got really excited. I went, <laughs> it makes everything easy at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a courtesy laugh. That was like, you just already. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, what am I doing? I'm, like, you're, I'm you're, ready. You're conducting okay. the, the, the pasta. Orchestra. This is me on my tippy toes. Is it really? That's my tippy toes. Wow. You want to see me without? Yeah. Just regular? Ready? Yeah. We're such dorks. <laughs> We're such dorks. Ah, yum, babe. Yum, baby.